All right, so for this video, we're going to continue modifying the Potomac ES100. For this project, we're going to fill the stern full of foam to hopefully add some buoyancy and help with the battery mount. So the first thing I did was sectioned off with cardboard exactly where I want the foam to go. The next step is to sand all this out, vacuum everything out, clean it real good, and then we'll spray the foam. So what we did was we added just a paper tube and it's behind the cardboard frame for where we're going to put our foam. And what this is hopefully going to do is when water does get in the boat and we have to drain it out, it'll either go around the foam or over the foam but still be able to access the drain plug. We definitely want that. Alright, so for this next part we're going to want to make sure that we take the kayak outside we do not want to spray the spray foam inside you want to spray it in an area that's well ventilated you also want to make sure that you keep it away from any open flames sparks and definitely don't smoke a cigarette when you're spraying this stuff the spray foam is highly flammable so the next thing we want to do is lightly sand down the inside of the stern so the foam has a rough surface to adhere to Alright, then what I did was I wrapped the Rubbermaid that's going to hold the battery in cardboard and then in paper and hopefully what will happen is when we pull this out we can remove the paper and the cardboard and we'll be able to slide this right into the mount. We're going to be using a fill foam I purchased at Menards for $2.33 a can. We're going to be using about three cans to fill about 75% of the stern. I'm going to start at the front of the stern and work my way back. Now that the front of the stern is filled, I'll add the battery mount and continue filling the stern until it's full. Now another thing I added is a length of paracord with both ends threaded through a slide lock. I did this so if I get caught in the rain I can tuck the ends of my rain poncho under the paracord, lock it down and keep the rain out of the boat. I haven't had to use this yet but I've been caught out in the rain more than enough times to know that this is a useful feature should it work. Okay, So here we are 24 hours later the foam should be fully hardened. Um, on the can it said about eight hours to fully solidify but since it is so thick in here I wanted to give it some extra time. Now we're ready to take the cardboard out, make sure we can get the mount to slide in and out and maybe carve down some of this foam. The eye hole screws seem to be mounted pretty good in there. Unfortunately, they are up a little high for where the battery's at. I think these are going to be pretty much useless. I uh, maybe should have mounted them down a little bit more. I didn't expect quite so much expansion as this foam dried. So now let's see about getting this battery mount out. I do want to be careful when I'm removing this rubber made for the battery because I do not want to disturb this foam too much. After I get the battery mount out, I will go ahead and sand this down to make it a little bit easier to hold the mount. Here you can see where the cardboard is. This was the cardboard we originally put in here. As you can see, this is the paper we wrapped the cardboard in, so it should be fairly easy to pull this out. I 
Yeah, and we still got some moist foam down in the bottom here. So even though it sat for 24 hours, like I was saying, this is thick enough where it's going to take some extra time for this to dry in here. So as you can see, the foam down in the bottom is still not quite solidified. It's pretty jelly in there. So the rest of this seems pretty good. So what we can do is start molding this. We got a rubber made out of there. And what we want to do is sand this down a little bit, carve it out so this kind of slides in pretty secure. Alright, so now that we have the foam shaved down, we can go ahead and drop in our battery pack. Now it's important to remember when you're sealing your stern, you want to make sure you don't seal in these wires. You still want these wires accessible and then when you're shaving this foam down, you also want to make sure that you're not cutting into these wires because you're going to make a pain in the ass for yourself. And as you can see, the battery mounts securely in place with the foam and yet pops out. So if we have to, or when we have to, we can take the battery out, we can recharge the battery and we're ready for the next trip. 